Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do six fall Thanksgiving related DIYs. I had a lot of fun doing them. They were simple. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, for our first project, I took a charger I already had on hand and these wall art stickers that you can get from Dollar Tree. And I just took two of the leaves. I put one on the top, one on the bottom, the opposite direction with the thankful in the middle. And I was done. You could put a layer of Mod Podge if you was worried about it coming off, but I'd, I have had it for a while and have not had any issues. So I don't think you have to worry about it. But I think it turned out so adorable and you could get different words and different things and make this into a Christmas gift. And it's so cute. Okay, for this project, I got this like red metallic leaf tray and I got some white chalk spray paint and just put, a, I'm going to try to do one layer of white chalk spray paint on it and see how it goes. Okay, and this is what my leaf turned out like after I put two coats of the white chalk paint on it. You could probably get by with one, just one coat. I got in a hurry and so I missed a lot of spots, but you also don't want to layer it too much and too quickly or it will run a little bit. Not chalk paint as much as like the other cheap paint, but I think this turned out really nice and it changes the whole style of this like kind of beginning ugly leaf that, you know, really doesn't fit my decor anyway. And so I just added these two little eucalyptus leaves and a pumpkin and I think it turned out beautiful. Okay, for this next DIY, we're going to do like a little fabric pumpkin. And I got this carvable pumpkin from Dollar Tree and usually they're in the Halloween section. I just removed the little stem from the top and then I just cut a hole in the top of it. You don't want to make too small of a hole. I ended up making mine a little bit bigger than I should have, but you don't want to make a real small one either because you do stuff a good amount of fabric down the inside to make it tight. So you don't want the top to be too small, but you also don't want it to be too huge or, you know, you won't be able to get your stem and stuff in there. And I got this little piece of fabric from Dollar Tree. They sell it in like the crafter square section. I don't know if every Dollar Tree has it. Um, there, you know how it's hit or miss sometimes with Dollar Tree and different ones. But I was shocked when I found this because I was like, I have never seen anything like that really at Dollar Tree. I've seen other fabric before and they sometimes have some really cute fabric, but not anything that was like fall. And so I was excited to find this. And so that makes your project a little bit cheaper. So what I did is I put my pumpkin in like the corner of the fabric. Don't set it in the middle of the fabric, like just pick one corner and angle it and just keep stuffing and as you go make sure you pull that fabric tight that you're stuffing down inside of it so that way it fits to the form of your pumpkin a lot better and then you know you won't have a lot of bumps and stuff it'll kind of fit better and look more like a pumpkin and if you have any spots at the end that didn't make it all the way down the hole just hot glue them that's what I had to do here and ignore my hot my hot glue gun I dropped it in a thing of Spanish moss and some other green stuff that I had out here while I was working on graphs. So now it's covered in this nasty grime looking stuff. But just ignore that. But I have had this thing forever. So then next I'm going to take some lamb's ear. Um, I'm going to take those. And I'm going to hot glue them down inside of that hole as well. Um, you're not going to want to you know, use too many. I mean it depends on how you want to do it. I used to on this one but you could use whatever you want you just use one if you want and just use what you have on hand and then my little stick I just cut out of my yard and um, you can do that makes it furry that way but I know that Dollar Tree does carry like some little wood stems at some Dollar Trees mine didn't have any but again why would you pay for something when you can go out in your yard and get it for free so and I put a little bit of hot glue on it because again I'd made my hole too big so it was just kind of falling down inside the pumpkin and you don't want that to happen or fall out. So I just add a little hot glue to it. And next I'm going to make like a little twine bow for the front. And again Dollar Tree does carry twine but Walmart has it as well. This twine I bought from Walmart probably two or three years ago and I'm still using it and I use it on a lot of projects. So if you get something like this, it will last you a long time. And a Dollar Tree's rolls are a little smaller, but you still will get several projects out of it. So I just wrap mine around my four fingers. Um, I can't remember how many times, but just make it to how many ever, you know, you want. If you want it thicker, if you want it not so thick, you do it the way you want to do it. And then I wanted a couple more little tails hanging on each side. So I cut three 
strands of the twine and that's what I used to wrap around my, the center of my bow to keep it tight and then you're going to do like a double bow a double knot in the back to keep it from coming undone and then you're just going to put like a little bit of hot glue on the back of it put it on your pumpkin and you're done and I just cut my little tails so that they were all the same length but you can leave them variating sizes whatever you want to do that like I said make it your own this may not be the print and the style that you're going for but I mean that's what's the fun thing about DIYs is you can make it to fit your own thing you can go get some velvet fabric to make it more glam you can get some other fabrics to make it more shabby chic or more boho whatever you want to do just make it your own and like you don't want to use a certain leaf or you don't want to use a certain stem there's cinnamon sticks you can use the um stem that came on it make it your own however you want to do it and that's what's great about DIYs it's something that you can make that not everybody has because you made it to fit to what you have and what matches your fall decor and I think it turned out so cute okay for this project I got a piece of white foam board from Dollar Tree and this pumpkin placemat also from Dollar Tree I just traced it out to the center of this white foam board and then I used a smaller pumpkin also from Dollar Tree and did it on either side to create this like little pumpkin scene and I'd originally planned to do it by myself but my husband and I've been wanting to do one of those painting classes and with COVID and social distancing we haven't got a chance to do it so I said why not make it into a fun like date night and he used to take painting classes and so he's really good at it and he did all the highlighting and blending and all the different things and it turned out so nice I think and we had a good time together doing it we ended up doing it on a canvas from Walmart because I wanted it to be something that I could always keep. And all the paints we used were the 50 cent paints from Walmart. We just mixed the colors to be whatever we wanted them to be. But I think it turned out so nice. And it's something that I'm going to keep in my fall decor forever. Okay, here we go with another painting project. I don't know why I do this to myself. But no, this one was really simple and easy. I mixed this orange and this um, brown together. And got this like burnt orange color and this of course this little truck I got from Dollar Tree and hopefully you'll be able to find it but um, or you got one when they did have them but um, that's that's the thing about YouTubing and doing DIYs you have to start so early in order to get these things because they sell out so fast I mean I've already started buying stuff for Christmas and I know people are like, Christmas, it's, you know, October, let's just enjoy fall. But if you want to find it, you better get it when you see it. Because it will be gone the next time you go. And so I got this, like, back in probably the middle of July. I'm not joking. And I'm just now getting it to it. But um, if you weren't able to find the, you know, fall one, keep an eye out for the Christmas one and get it when you see it. Because... These are so cute and for a dollar you cannot beat it and it's a fun project and if you're if it's not something that you want to do for yourself you know for your decorations let your kids paint it and they would have fun doing it as well and um, here I'm just like dry brushing on some brown to kind of give it like a rustic look and then this is the ribbon that I kind of based my whole thing off of the little red truck ribbon all this ribbon I got from Dollar Tree and then this mesh I had on hand, but I know that Dollar Tree did have some like green mesh like this. And these are the ribbons that I mixed together, the plaid, the truck, and the green. And I just cut like a small strip of each co um, color. And then I took my, what is that thing called? <laughs> the little twisty tie things. I just drew a total blank, but um, pipe cleaners, that's what they're called. <laughs> And I just twisted it in the middle of it and then I put it onto the wreath. And the wreath form is also from Dollar Tree. So I just did a, several of these. I mixed some with some of the mesh and then I mixed some with just all ribbon. And I ended up, I had hot glued my truck onto there because I was going to just do the mesh around it. But it ended up covering up the truck too much. So I went another whole different route. But I just did several of these bunches. If you want to go ahead through and pre-cut all your ribbon and your mesh and then do that, it makes the putting it all together a little faster process than trying to do it each time you go to put it on there. So I just used the pipe cleaner to put it onto the wreath form. And this is my handy dandy bow dabber. I've had this thing for years. My mom bought it for me years and years ago. Um, she always did free-handed bows, but I never could quite 
do that talent. Never was blessed with that talent, I guess you could say. She always did it. But she got me this years ago when I started doing flower arrangements and things when I was younger. And it makes making bows so much easier. And I'm pretty sure that there's places that still have it. Or you could find something similar to this. Or if you're great at making bows yourself, then you don't even need it. But I just started with some of the plaid ribbon. Made like a little tail first off. And then went back and forth with the plaid making like two bows. And then did the same with different with the different ribbons used to plaid then the green and then the little red truck and just made a couple went back and forth with it a couple layers of bows like um loops bows loops <laughs> and then once i got done with how i wanted it you're just going to pull that pipe cleaner out of both ends and it's going to um, go towards the center and then you're just going to of course twist it real tight on the back and then just apply it right to your wreath. And here I decided to take some of that green ribbon that I had gotten and wrap it around the wreath form instead of doing the little ribbon tufts all the way around because it covered up my little truck way more than I wanted. And this is so easy. If you put a little bit of hot glue when you start, you just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. And then when you get to the other end, add a little bit more hot glue at the end. And that's all you got to do. And it's really quick and easy to do. And this is how it turned out when I was done with it. I think it is so adorable. I love all things Red Truck. And this turned out so cute. And I had a total of $8 into this. You cannot buy a wreath like this for $8. You just can't. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, for this project, I just got a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. And I spray painted it with like a matte spray paint. And I spray painted the back as well. But you wouldn't have to do that. And I only used one paint um, coat of paint. And it covered really good. And then these floral picks I got from Dollar Tree as well. The little hydrangeas. And the little orange flowers and the leaves. I just put some on opposite ends. And tied them together with a pipe cleaner. And then I just added a good amount of hot glue to the top of the pizza pan. And then like the little swag that I made. I just pushed it down into that hot glue real good. And held it there for a while to make sure that it, you know, stuck down in that hot glue really good. And the little thankful word I also got from Dollar Tree, it came in a pack of three with Harvest, Welcome, and Thankful. I got those last year, so I still had some of those on hand, but I know they did have them again this year if you're able to find them. And then I got some ribbon that I had on hand. I got this from Hobby Lobby 50% off. I think I paid like $1.50 for it. But um, you can get ribbon from Dollar Tree. They have some really nice burlap and stuff that you can use. And I just made my bow out of that. I didn't show you the bow again because I already had showed you how to make a bow. Okay, I did forget to show, but I did hot glue the thankful onto the front. And then I just put two little drops of glue on the top part of the pizza pan on the back. And I just used the twine to create like a little hanger. And you could do that to make a hanger and hang it like I did or you could also just sit it on like a plate holder or something to put on a countertop or bookshelf or anywhere you wanted to put it but I think it turned out really adorable and it didn't take that much time at all but that is all that I have for today I thank y'all for watching this video and if you could please like and subscribe I would appreciate it and if also if you get to try any of these projects let me know but I hope y'all have a blessed day and I will see y'all in the next one